So today we started off by deep cleaning the living room. This was very much needed because for some reason the past week we could just smell dog pee like wherever we sat in the living room. So I decided, do you know what? We need to wash all the sofas, wash all the toys, the cushion covers, the carpets, absolutely everything in there because we had been using this new carpet cleaning machine that I bought to wash the carpets and to clean them every single day and that brings up so much dirt but we could still smell we could still smell pee even after using that a few times so I thought let's just clean everything and just keep on top of it so that is exactly what we're doing in this video we pulled the sofas forward and cleaned behind them as well you might have noticed just then that the carpet was ruffled up a little bit that was when my rabbits used to run around in the living room so you can blame them that was their fault for chewing up the carpet. If you have rabbits, you know that you cannot leave them alone in the room because they will chew up your carpets or they will head straight for wires and try and chew them. So I did say that I bought this new carpet cleaning machine and this is it. I was using a different one before, but it was really terrible. I didn't actually buy it. I got it from um, my dad or something and he said he got it for a fiver from somewhere um, but this was on Amazon I think it was like 120 pounds it was reduced on Amazon so I don't know if it still is but it is it's really really powerful and really really good and it gets up a lot of dirt so basically when you push the carpet cleaner forwards you kind of release like a liquid onto the floor that cleans it and then as you bring the cleaner back you let go of that lever so that it sucks the water back up again because you don't want your sofas to be soaked uh, sorry your carpets to be soaked I did also decide to hoover the sofa as well because um they hadn't been done in a very long time and I wasn't confident that the dogs hadn't peed on here but they don't pee everywhere like they are trained you know a bit but they do you know I could smell pee in the living room so I thought I need to do everything so that's why I was doing this I do need a new hoover as well because this one is so terrible I accidentally dropped like a glass bottle with water in it once and the only option I had because of how severe like the glass was and I didn't even have something to scoop the glass up I had to um, use the hoover to hoover it up and it meant that liquid got in the hoover and it's just been quite ruined since um, obviously because I have got this new cleaning like machine thing it was a bit of trial and error as to kind of using it and like how we would get along with using it because it is not um like this handheld section um kind of put a lot of water on the sofa so he wasn't too sure about it but it actually dried up really quickly within like a couple of hours so I was quite happy with that to be honest Overall though, I would definitely recommend this machine to go and purchase it if you have your own house and you have carpets because as you can see, it does get a lot of dirty water out of the carpets um, or it gets a lot of dirt out of the carpets and 
that is basically, you know, that comes from the dogs, it comes from us, you know, we both of us are sometimes in the fields when we're at work, because we work at the same company, and it can, yeah, it can definitely get the carpet a bit dirty when our boots are there, so this is a great product. As I am just currently doing the voiceover to this video, I'm actually off for a barbecue at my parents' house in literally whenever I finish this voiceover, basically. So I do need to kind of hurry up. But yeah, we had a few bits for a barbecue that we was going to have next week, but the weather was so good this week that we thought we'd do a barbecue today because when I look at the sky, there is zero clouds right now, which is quite a rarity so yeah I am going to be going off for a barbecue shortly um, but yeah this was me emptying the um, liquid from the bottom look how much is in there oh my god that's crazy um, it's quite scary to see that to be honest with you because it means that that's what you're kind of trampling on um, when you're in the living room and yes my sink needs cleaning definitely a lot of my sink is not dirty by the way my dad painted um in my house and he splattered paint into my sink and it's just been there ever since so yeah that's brilliant also you might have noticed i'm wearing like an all-in-one piece um this is quite a comfortable thing to wear like maternity wear um so yeah as you can see my baby bump is definitely growing a lot more recently so yeah it's only gonna get bigger obviously because i still got a good like four months to go I don't have too much of a baby update this week. We haven't really changed the room. We have got a car seat this week. So we have a car seat with the baby. And I also bought the baby this book, which is called The Hugosaurus. Now, obviously I know that the baby cannot read this book. I can read it to the baby and it won't have a clue what I'm on about, but it helps with like communication and stuff. Um, but I just saw it and I thought, yeah, I'll get it. So I've put it on this windowsill. But the other book that she has is this dinosaur book, which is kind of textured, um, which is probably more suitable to someone younger um, than the book I've just shown you, but they're cute. No other updates really, except I'm gaining weight. So that's gonna be fun when I, after I've given birth, trying to like, exercise again um but yeah there will be a bigger update baby update next week because i will have bought a lot more stuff each week i'm gonna buy a selection of items just so that i have you know i don't want to buy everything in one go and then my car breaks down and i don't have money to pay for it so i'm kind of buying little bits each week so each week i'll do an update in the cleaning video to kind of let you know how that's going. But this is the newest addition to this room. Everything else is the same and my car seat is in the car. So this is what is in my fridge this week. These are the few bits for the barbecue that I'm having this afternoon that I purchased. I also have a couple of drinks on the top shelf as well. Um, and then 
on the shelf below we've got eggs and passata and this random chocolate flavoured frosting that is still in there from last week. Um, my little corner of kind of things are for the, the pets, so rabbits and hamsters. Um, I've got some fruit there, strawberries and peaches. Then my vegetable drawer is always at the bottom, I don't know why I just do that. Uh, potatoes and then I've got kind of like orange juice, smoothies, milks, cheese, I love cheese, stocked up on the cheese. Um, um, and then, yeah, just a few other random bits. So that is what is in my fridge. I'm just gonna insert some footage from yesterday. Me and Jamie went to Elsham Hall for a little day out. So I filmed a few clips there, so I will put those in now. guineas here but there's no guineas the guineas are they're all in there I gave them some dandelion leaves and they all came out oh I want guineas now no <laughs> hello for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i will be posting another one next sunday with different cleaning and different things and another baby update so subscribe if you haven't already and please stick around for that and i will see you next week goodbye